ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ I can't tell you how delighted I am to be back here to see everyone meet everyone in person after so many years online as you are doing at SLF and I so feel a, a very integral part of this place because I think I started my journey with this very special festival with my first book coming first time to this very special place so this place means a lot and I'm here not for just one but two sessions today a very special one introducing a very dear friend of mine a co-actor a co not a co-author an author um a guy i would say when you read somebody's book to aise lagta hai kai baar ki aap unko bahut acche se jante hain unki choti choti baatein um so in that uh, context i do feel i know tushar kapoor very well by now हम मुंबई में रहते हैं लेकिन जो मैं इनकी किताब पढ़ के इनको जान गई हूं आई मस्ट से इट फील्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव नोन यू तुषार थैंक यू अंटिल यू मॉडरेट माय सेशन यू हैव नॉट नोन मी बट वी हैव डन अ सेशन टुगेदर सो आई नो हाउ यू आर बट आई मस्ट से टेल अस वेयर यू वांट अस हाउ विल आई सी हिम I'll sit here you sit. Yes. I hope you all can see us. Soon jay karan lag gaya sada ta session hi reh jana hai koi na tusi hun dekh lo sanu. Theek hai? Um so um I must say a guy who's been truly honest and I love that about him. Very straightforward, truly honest. Somebody who's been very different being a star child. and what i love about him is his independent decisions that he's taken which makes him the bachelor dad a unique single dad so tushar kapoor for you thank you so much for the very warm welcome always <laughs> your usual style is being warm which is why i love to see you on screen also thank so that you. warmth comes through thank and you. i'm very very grateful that you said yes to be sitting next to me right now my pleasure absolutely tushar um First of all I think I should start with that very cliche question that everyone would like to know that you've been a very successful actor producer and there's so many things that you do in your life uh what made you write a book or think of writing a book um uh, you know it wasn't really planned of course everyone when they answer this kind of a question they say it was never planned yes. but truly it wasn't uh, something that uh, I had in mind from the very beginning though uh, somewhere around 2019s in that year friends used to friend a friend of mine who's here right now meena ayer she also used to tell me that why don't you write an autobiographical book or why don't you write about your journey as a single parent because they they've all witnessed um my role as a bachelor dad with my son and close friends will always see you you know how you are as a father an actor single male father so they said it's unusual it's unconventional or uh, uh you'll have so much stuff to write about if you write a book and uh, i i'm usually somebody who likes to be in my comfort zone so i when something some 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 idea like this comes up i usually like initially i'm a bit resistant but thereafter i realize that you know in all my interviews when i go to promote movies or i do things as a public figure they ask me this question all the time ki aap क्यों बने सिंगल फादर कैसे हुआ किसने आपको आइडिया दिया और आप कैसे कर रहे हो अभी अकेले एक बच्चे को कैसे संभाल रहे हो इनफैक्ट वन बॉलीवुड वाइफ मै शी मेट मी एट द पार्क एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग शी आस मी हाउ आर यू मैनेजिंग सो सो टू आंसर ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आई डिसाइडेड दैट आई माइट इज वेल जस्ट राइट अ बुक और यू नो मे मीन राइट विद को हॉथर और वट and answer all the questions because then the thing is lost in translation kisi ko kuch pooch kuch sawal karna bolega please aap kitab pad lo so that was one of the reasons and the other reason of course was uh, it would be another feather in my cap totally. you know it's uh, some something that is a part of your personality or my personality rather no one knows about everyone has preconceived notions about actors children ki dropouts honge likhenge kaise matlab shayad wo apne मतलब बोल नहीं सकते लिख के लिख लिख कैसे कैसे देंगे एंड दैट इज एन इमेज दैट स्टिक्स विथ यू व्हेन यू आर वांट टू फिल्म फैमिली दैट यू मस्ट बी 
broken somewhere, you must be messed up somewhere, you must be entitled somewhere, and you must be really stupid somewhere, but you're still an actor. So that is also a preconceived notion that probably, I mean, I had it at the back of my mind, that ye bhi todni hai baat, ye kitab likke thoda dikhana bhi hai, thoda show off bhi karna hai ki haam lik sakte hai. Why not? Thoda show off nahi kya toh kya kiya? That brings me to another thing I wanted to ask you. Everyone talks about a mayor Ludhiana Sihu. So, I call all outsiders in the industry. You are a Mumbai child, Jitoji's son, I mean a star kid. But when I read your book, I see you've done everything, practically everything on your own. Your decisions have been yours. Uh, meeting people has been yours. You've, you've been a graduate in business. And so, uh, in finance management, what have you uh, graduated? Yeah, I've graduated uh, with, with a BBA degree in finance. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So, you've done varied stuff. You, uh, how is it um, different when we talk from the other side of the fence? Uh, how is it like you're called more privileged or you yeah called, yeah of course uh, but you're not like that so i'm saying no, how, no, no. How, uh, just tell us the clear picture I of, believe of being a normal person <laughs> everyone comes into this industry or any industry with their own karma you know everybody we come into the world with our own karma so no matter where you're born you have your own challenges to deal with and uh, you know i did my first film with another star kid and uh, she was a star even before her first film came out some people just I mean, she was so beautiful, she was so popular. So Who are we she, talking about? About Karina, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm also a star kid, but she was doing four films when I was working with her in her second film. And her first film hadn't come out also by then. And she had a second film, which was my film, and three other, four, four more other films wow. with huge stars. Okay. So, I think just to highlight this point that every star kid doesn't have it the same way, I like, like to tell you that I had to, I used to have to wait for her for 12 to 14 hours for my shot to come because she used to come from, she used to do Ashoka first, then she used to do Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gum shooting, some, then she used to do Ajni Bhi shooting, then she used to do Yade ki shooting, and then she used to come for Mujhe Kuch Kehna ki shooting. Look at that. <laughs> Utni demand thi ki wo teen din mein, I think wo paan shift hai karthi, wo change hoti rehti thi shift kabhi bhi, you know, depending on the availability, and then I would get a chance, and then I would do my shot in the middle of the night, do my close ups, and then I'd go home. So it, it was all worth it. No regrets. Uh, I'm very happy that I got a chance to work with an actress in my first film, who's uh, who's who's made it really, really big and who's really made a good name for herself. But as a good red carpet, sabke liye nahi hota hai. You know, sabki alag journey hoti, sabki alag ek. But sabke lives me mushkil aati hai. Meri liye shayad koi aur mushkil hogi. For you, it's something different. Absolutely, absolutely. But mushkil We all have our differences. Yes. And we all have our challenges. Since outsider and insider are sitting together, I thought this should be spoken. मैं आज भी outsider मानता हूँ अपने आप को. See, वो आपका अपना वो सोच है. लेकिन बहुत सारे लोगों को लगता है ये outsider ये insider. But I just want to say and just reiterate that everyone has their journey and nothing yeah. comes easy. Nothing so, comes easy, so absolutely. I, yeah. I just wanted to say it since I was meeting you here today. Mm -hmm. Another thing I really relate to you is in my first book, Me and Ma, I had written about lots of arranged matches that happened in, in my life. Ke in se millo or sab tayar ho ke, that typical thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, maza bhi tha, but lagta tha, arranged match thodi karenge, kuch jane to sehi. When I was reading your book, I saw you done the same. And I want to know, I found it very amusing. I really want to, there were some very interesting anecdotes you've written about um, the typical arranged match thing that you went for. No, no, I didn't want to have an arranged match. I know all. that, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you went for it to just yes, yes, yes. I keep went your for family a, happy. Keep my family and uh, <laughs> calm and off my back. I said, okay, I'm going to go. And it was a, a marriage proposal of some sorts. Of course, I won't name the people and all. Very sweet people, but there was... It was not a match made in heaven. By, maybe that's why I'm sitting here today. But I was doing it for the sake of my parents. So I went like a zombie and I was like, let's be positive. Let's make the most of this day, this trip. And uh, of course, everything was politely, but, but that wasn't your calling. After that, nothing happened. Thankfully. Thankfully, kuch I think it's always a connect. I think Arrange know. marriage ho ya love marriage ho. I think connect ho, to ho jata hai. Parents always want your best. You know, I will also want my son's best and parents will very be a very good judge of character. So they will judge your friends better than you judge your friends. That's true. I believe that. But I don't believe that parents always know best. I somewhere feel that you have to be in your own way. 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 
आपके माँ बाप भी नहीं जानते हैं तो समटाइम्स इट इट समाइम्स इट माइट जस्ट पे ऑफ टू बी अ लोन एंड फाइंड योर ओन पाथ that just says yeah. how clear minded you are sometimes it's challenging because it we are we are we grew up in a society we are brought up in a society where we believe and it's true also that ki maa baap jo hai hamare bhagwan hote hain of course because we are here because of them absolutely but kuch uh, cheeze kabhi kabhi aapki khud ki honi bhi chahiye it's for your sanity it's for your well being it's for your but it's, i tell you yeah. something whatever your choice is maybe ultimately parents mostly support us for whatever choices I'm, i'm very thankful yes, yes, yes. i'm i'm very thankful i'm sure so are you yes. so uh let's get back to the book the bachelor dad how did that first paternal instinct come to you ki i need a child because there's a beautiful line in your book which says ki you can marry late lekin to be a very devoted uh father you need to be young and you need to have that time frame to just take that decision that time yes, yes. yes for sure yeah so the clock was ticking and by the time i came into my mid 30s around 10 years back i realized that uh, you know it's uh, i'm in between the devil and the deep blue sea you know i don't know where i'm going as far as my fam- family life is concerned so that realization came into me and i think it's sometimes it's very important to get that into your subconscious ki ye important hai कभी कभी आपको आंसर्स ना आपके पास आंसर्स ना भी हो तो इट्स ओके बट एज लॉन्ग एज यू नो द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड कि ओके दिस एरिया ऑफ माय लाइफ नीड्स वर्क आई नीड टू हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ फोकस ऑन इट एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स यू बिगिन टू मैनिफेस्ट दोस थिंग्स आई थिंक इफ इट्स देयर एट द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड सम हाउ आई थिंक मिस्टिकली गॉड इज काइंड यूनिवर्स सुनता है यू नो गॉड इज काइंड एंड वी स्टार्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग दैट फॉर आवर सेल्फ एंड दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंड इन माय केस आई हैड नो क्लू but i had spoken to some people some friends in the us in michigan whom i used to connect with and they said that you know surrogacy is an option and um, ivf and there are fertility centers in you in uh, denver and colorado somewhere in the us you know there is some very well known place and the laws are very very uh, conducive to this for for people like us you know rather than doing it in india and then of course that chapter in my book divine intervention happened and it just happened in india so i realized ki india mein sab kuch hai hame bahar jaane ki zarurat hai nahi there's no place like india you just have to keep your eyes and ears open and, and you have your to heart be open to <laughs> yes and your heart yeah we Absolutely. have it all here that's true i want to since we're talking about the divine intervention i want to know about that very special trip you had where you met mr prakash chha and things changed for you i went actually to tirupati in uh, may 2015 This is when uh, one of sorry my... to interrupt. I hope you all know Prakash Chha, the yes. the the very renowned uh, producer director that we have, and I think you worked with him. I have worked with him. No, I haven't worked. It feels like I've worked it, with him. It feels I... like you worked yes, with him. Yes, I haven't worked with him. No. <laughs> okay. My sisters worked with him in lipstick under my burqa. That's yeah, right. she did with That's him. Right. Yeah. Yes, but please. We, we haven't worked, but I know him now because of this. So I went to Tirupati actually because a film of mine called Masti Zade was stuck in the censor board. so i went to pray ki ye picture censor ho jaye because bahut hi matlab ki bahut hi behuda kaam kiya tha humne us film mein which i'm quite embarrassed about but uh, picture atak gayi thi censor board mein hum gaye prarthna karne gaye the ki ye behuda film jaldi aa jaye theater mein aur mujhe tension na de aur aaye aur matlab jo bhi karna hai aise kar le and i came out of the i mean somehow that same day i boarded the flight to tirupati and prakash ji was in my next seat so we spoke like uh, colleagues in the film industry and it was a formal conversation and then ittefaq se darshan to humne alag alag liye because we landed and we went our own ways but the next day we realized that both our flights are cancelled back i think it was the same flight or we had two separate flights but they were both cancelled so he called me and said my flight is cancelled so i said yeah what do we do so then we started talking to the travel agent like we always do when you're out out of town and things go hey oh hey so we spoke to the travel agent they said you can go to chennai you can drive to chennai like the olden days from tirupati to chennai and then take a flight to mumbai from there in the evening so we both carpooled it and in that car he asked me a lot of questions about family and he said i am a single parent i was married in the 80s i think to he, he he's divorced his wife and he has adopted a, a, a daughter as a single parent and brought her up all by himself as a film maker wow so he told me story about how he used to you know he used to feed her milk between shots and lots of very very interesting and no complaints but he said that is a beautiful journey ho jata hai sab kuch agar karna hai to ho jata hai sab kuch 
and he made me speak to this family in mumbai uh, a single mom who's done what i did and her daughter was 2 years old then so she, her mom so the lady who was true prani who's her mom so the grand mom of the daughter yeah. she came on the line said beta you come to mumbai i'll show you how it has to be done there's no problem everything i almost as if i was like what <laughs> this is like a life changing decision and it's like i had never dream about it in my wildest dreams because i'm very uncontroversial i'm very shy and uh, i have post traumatic stress disorder i mean not i shouldn't be trivializing mental health but i have a lot of anxiety when there's something going to be out in the papers the next day i am i won't be sleeping the night before okay so that's my nature it's just a personality scorpio by scorpio. nature yeah yes so we like to be in our shell so to think about something so drastic so uh, out of the box and so cool about it so i spoke to ruprani ma'am and said you know i'll come and see you in mumbai i think somewhere deep down i realize i've got the answers to my questions i think wo pata chal jata hai na instinctive kabhi kabhi aapko script bhi milti hai jo bahut hi daring ho और आपको लगता है ये मैं कैसे करूंगा या करूंगी और एट द बैक ऑफ माइंड आपको लगता है कि यार ये अपॉर्चुनिटी ये मेरे लिए है डबल फीलिंग वाज हैपनिंग यू नो इट वाज हैपन दैट गॉड टेल्स यू कि दिस इज दिस इज समथिंग दैट कैन वर्क आउट सो आई केम टू मुंबई एंड बिकॉज़ देन आई इग्नोर्ड इट फॉरगॉट अबाउट इट आई स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग ऑन दोस लाइंस इट टुक मी 3 मंथ्स टू गो टू हर ओके एंड देयर आफ्टर आई वोंट टेल यू व्हाट हैपन बिकॉज़ देन यू वोंट रीड माय बुक सो प्लीज रीड द बुक एंड देन दे वी आस्क क्वेश्चंस आल्सो I yeah, I don't want to bore you. <laughs> no, okay. So once you decide, you were very clear in those three months that you want to take this path. Very clear that I want to go meet her and then go see how it goes. So I, when I met her, then she took me to meet the doctor, Firuza Parekh. Firuza Parekh, yes. Then they explained to me what it all entailed. And it and, felt right to you. And then I took a couple of weeks again. Okay. <laughs> and then it felt right to me. And then I went the whole hog. I didn't tell my parents about it. because i said i have to do this for myself and uh, no turning back now so i went and did it and then of course i when the ivf was successful and the surrogacy was about to begin the second stage that's when i told my parents that now i need to tell them and uh, it's going too far so it's better if i for all ethical reasons and forget anything else for all ethical reasons i must share it with mom at least and i told her and i told her don't tell dad because he'll probably get a shock he's very conservative he's very <laughs> he's a desi punjabi actor yes. so don't uh, tell him and uh, like all moms she's gone and told him the same day she can't keep like all moms who can't keep anything from their husband she's, she's like, gone and told him stress i'm telling she said i couldn't hold it i had to tell somebody <laughs> so i had to tell him and he was even cooler than her he was okay he's saying that fine if it's his decision and if he's if he's okay with it it's legal and if it's uh, making him happy it's okay fine that's cool but they both told me he didn't tell me she told me that you know we will be grandparents we cannot be what you can be for your child so you better be ready for the responsibilities we will help you of course but at the age that we are in we are not going to be able to you can't just say okay you know now i'm not interested in this you know what i've taken on it was fun to think about it and i'm not interested so you all do my work we we can do that we can do things for you but we can't do this for you this is something you like that's a very fair advice yes, yes it also tells you what you're getting into because hum hote na hum log thode pampered hote kabhi kabhi hum log kar lenge ya apne accounts dekh lenge jab tak kuch zyada kuch bura nahi ho jata hum ab apni responsibilities lete nahi hai so we i think it's culturally also something that we looked after but uh I I've lived abroad I've lived on my own and I am independent in that sense but this is something I told mom that you know I know what I'm getting into which is why I'm getting into this so don't worry about that You sound so clear but Tushar I'm sure you had your apprehensions your anxieties wondering what you're going to do as a single father life is definitely going to change for you what was the emotional process for you to say ha ji ab to hum papa banenge वो आई थिंक मैं एक सवाल के जवाब में या कुछ लफ्जों में ऑफ कोर्स आई वोंट बी एबल टू डू जस्टिस टू दैट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज व्हाई आई रोट दिस बुक यू नो फॉर दैट बट आई थिंक रोलर कोस्टर ऑफ इमोशंस टू हाईलाइट दैट पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड आर नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इन माय लाइफ यू नो आई हैव बीन श्योर अबाउट डूइंग थिंग्स लाइक इवन बिकमिंग एन एक्टर इट वाज जस्ट नॉट समथिंग दैट आई थॉट वुड बी माय कप ऑफ टी बिकॉज़ आई एम फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड एजुकेशनली बट इट टुक मी दैट यस टू से यस टू अ रोल the idea of jumping into the deep end of the ocean 
to actually make up my mind. I'm not the kind of person who knows it, okay. I want to do this and I'm going to plan, I'm going to train myself, discipline and go. I need to be pushed into things at times, even if it's myself who pushes myself into it. And then uh, the rest, I think, falls into place because I'll do my best, I'll do justice to it. I know I want it, but I need to say yes to have the Experience. clarity to be able to deal with the fears that follow. I quite relate to that. I do the same. Once you've taken a decision... And then those are the best decisions. Best decisions over where you're scared, where you're unsure. Nothing great has ever been achieved in your comfort zone. I believe that. Sometimes you have to get out to really find yourself. True that. You have to jump in there. Okay, you've spoken about your parents. How about Ekta, your sister? When did you break the news to her? I told her last. I think I was following <laughs> the doctor's instructions. Doctor said, Abhi mommy ko bolo. Doctor Nabi bola because they said, you know, the laws are very strict. You, we have to follow the laws of surrogacy, we have to respect the, uh, the sanctity of it all and there are individuals involved in this process and for their uh, security and for their, um, you know, everything that pertains to the legal part of it, you can't talk about it to anybody now. So now tell mom, now tell dad, now you can tell your sister. Obviously I had to tell my sister because there is, we shared one hall in the room, in the house, which, which had to be now allocated to the ba as the baby's nursery. Yeah. So I went and told her and she was, uh, she was thinking I'm going to talk to her about some work or something because I hardly call her and say I need to meet you. That, we never do that with our <laughs> sisters and brothers, right? <laughs> that I need to meet you. <laughs> so I, had, I took an appointment with her and I went to and spoke to her and she's, she was like quite excited, shocked, like mom. They were like all initially very, very shocked and excited and surprised. And then she said, when is the baby due? I sit around, uh, somewhere around the end of May is what they're expecting. Oh. It's going to be a Gemini. I think most most important thing that she found out that it's going to be a Gemini like her. Sabki apne apni angles hoti na har cheez ko lekar. So then she was like, of course, and she was. They were all very tight-lipped about it before we were ready to announce the child. I didn't tell my close friends about it also. I told them all after the announcement Stop came out. <laughs> Not for any other reason, but it's just that, uh, you know. Um, there, there's a lot of, there are very, very many strict laws that pertain to this, yeah, yeah. But Tushar, uh, a lot of people must have been very happy about your decision. But um, I, when I'm reading your book, I, I see that some of them are a little miffed that why has he taken this decision? Bohat sare log bolte hain, aray, yehi, ye kyun kiya, adopt kar lete. To, I'm sure kisi na kisi ke zehen mein ye sawal zarur aayega. So I would want you to just address that as well. Sure, sure, Divya. There was one family friend who uh, he didn't even call to wish. I mean, he's a very close family friend. Never congratulated my parents when we announced the child. We were quite surprised. And uh, I got to know through some wire wire that he had his own views. He said this is something very disappointing and he should have adopted. Agar nannies hi sambhalne wale hain bachcho ko, to phir bachcha, why have a child if your nannies are going to take care of? So, I mean, I've answered that ideology in my book, which is very strange. And uh, how does it, how does it, how can you think that just because I've had a child as a single parent that I'll have nannies taking care of my child. There are so many couples with normal stereotypical families where they're not so involved and the nannies are doing most of the things. So there's no written, unwritten rule that okay, you're single, you use nannies, ko hi use karoge, you know, in that sense. Um, single parents are doing, a, all over are doing a good job and I will try to do my best. And the other idea is that there are the billions and billions of people in this world who have kids of their own. Nobody tells them why you didn't adopt. You know, everyone has got an option of adopting or not adopting and it's a great thing, it's very noble. I would love to adopt someday if I am able to and have the time but to take care of another child. But I wanted to have a child of my own like all of us, like everybody here. Why can't I have a child of my own? You know, I, just, I, yeah. I think that, yeah. that, that's a beautiful answer. And that doesn't that's mean that I don't agree with adoption or something. Fair yeah. Enough, yeah. Yes. Yes. And of course, आज भी मुझे बहुत सवाल करते लोग कि आप क्या कहते हो अपने बेटे को कैसे कहोगे उनके साथ स्कूल में सवाल किए जाते होंगे प्यार प्रेशर होगा ऐसे पर ये I feel I mean I can't explain to them because we are fixated about certain things in our uh, mentality but internally I feel that you know all kids are asked questions like I was born to an actor so I used to be asked questions why does your mom come for the PTA meetings why doesn't your dad come 
so uh, how do you deal with what's written about in the magazines and all that so we all have a little like there are children whom have a bond to families where the parents are in a long distance relationship sometimes one of the spouses has passed away that also unfortunately happens sometimes uh, a family where the child is adopted sometimes a family where the parents have separated there are all kinds of families that why are they given the right to feel like normal families while these issues will be applicable to them too and uh, so it's uh, it's okay i think when you're doing something so new so radical for the very first time there are going to be surprises there are going to be questions and there are going to be uh, um, there's going to be a little bit of criticism also okay that's life isliye kitab likhna zaruri hai but i i just want to say whenever you take a first step koi bhi cheez mein hum kabhi bhi shuruaat karte hain aur aap pehle hain usme you you just initiating something which isn't really very heard of to ye cheeze to aayengi kyunki ye thoda ajeeb lagega sabko phir thoda sa hazm hoga ki ha it's not that bad he can i want to know did you ever feel you probably have to overcompensate for not having another parent for your child no no not at all I, in uh, my role as a father maybe because i've become a father at the age of 40 so i think i was ready then and ek focus mil gaya life mein you know us pehle baap banne ke pehle jab itna time hota hai aapke paas aur hum actors jab shoot nahi kar rahe hote to hamare paas bahut time hota hai kabhi kabhi aur jab kar rahe hote hain to abnormal zindagi abnormal hai so we have those extremes in our in our schedule so in those extremes sometimes there are times when you you have so much time that you are obsessing about why am i not invited here what should i wear to this party should i do this movie or not should i go to this party or not how what should i say to this person that when you have no time to do that you make better decisions and you do more so i am doing more with my work and the other part of other aspects of my life besides parenting because i have this focus because i have so much to do focus and i have something someone to come home to a responsibility to come home to someone to love something to do that's why everything has become so streamlined so i think it has really put things into the right perspective it has made me smarter more organized more well time managed and going back to my previous question about you know some of the apprehensions that people have the questions they ask i must not be sounding i should not be sounding like i'm complaining about it because over all of that that was a very minuscule aspect of my journey as a single parent and getting into this role people have really celebrated you yes there was more positive show. thank you you yes. stole my words there was okay. <laughs> there was more positive for a good thing you stole it in a good way there was more positivity than anything else from the media whether it was social media shayad us zaman us time tak itni trolling ki aadat hui nahi thi logo ki lekin jo hui thi bhi wo bahut hi kam thi and there was so much positivity i think it just shows that our indian society is more liberated than any other society because they i felt welcomed uh, as a single parent my son felt welcome by men women my fraternity the media like i said my parents their friends the old school crowd international people who are from i mean fans from the international arena and it was uh, it was uh, the best thing that happened to me at that time so i'm thankful and grateful and i'm here i mean in front of this lovely crowd in this very prestigious festival only because i did something very different and because i was welcomed oh my god school ki ghanti baj gayi so you think we should wrap it or we have 5 minutes okay so can i ask one last question please because the audience does deserve to ask you questions this is something so interesting and so intriguing i must say uh, it ain't easy to be a single father for sure i mean koi bhi ho single parent i have had a single parent my, sing, my i lost my father very early um, and so that single parent thing isn't easy so i i think we must laud you for taking a decision by choice to be one and um, thank you i just want to ask you one thing um, there was something that tugged my heart that um, lakshya your son uh, was looking at you wondering uh, when he saw the other parents ki uh, inke mummy daddy bhi hain and am i different how do you manage or how do you probably observe his emotions ki ye kya soch raha hai isko kuch bura lag raha hai kya do i need to tell him something shayad he feel comfortable how do you manage all that 
Yeah, especially this question. One school event, but I felt maybe he's feeling a little uh, uncomfortable because there were moms and dads, and I was there. But there were moms and dads. But I think he was probably just feeling a little shy because they had to come in the assembly in front and all sing together and all. And that was in junior in nursery. So, thoda usko jhijak mehsus ho raha tha. But, 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 I have to be very, very vigilant. That कहीं कोई doubt तो यहाँ आ रहा उसके मन में. So I had a chat with him and I. I said that you have a papa and uh, we have we, this is our family and we are a complete family but you can always ask me if you have any doubts and there are all kinds of families every family is different now so they have books children's books about this issue that there are all kinds of families and uh, uh, so I think we've moved way beyond all of that it's just that we have to be open to our kids we have to be very honest to them and it's more important how they feel and how uh, how I mean, how whether they feel like they are loved unconditionally or not, whether they feel a sense of belonging, whether they feel normal in this family setting or not, that is more important because sometimes everything looks perfect from the outside, but it's not really perfect from the inside. It's never really perfect. What I'm also gathering from your conversation is what is most beautiful, and not just in a father-son relationship or a parent-child relationship, but everywhere is transparency and being sensitive to what the other person is thinking and solving it. Zindagi itni mushkil nahi hai, simple hai aur khubsurat hai. Absolutely, it just depends on how we deal with our challenges, Absolutely. how we look at them, and how we, uh, you know, face our fears and how we come out of it all to be happy at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Totally, totally. And should I shift to the audience? Any questions for Tushar? There is one hand over there. Yes, ma'am. Can somebody pass the mic to her, please? Yes, sir. There's a sir. Uh, there's a ma'am first, right near the camera. Okay. The tripod. Udhar, Udhar. I must say, you're an amazing audience. Kya shanti hai hai. Yeh shor sirf hamne machaya tha dono ne. Hi, Tushar. Hello, Ji. I'm Satya Saran. Nice to meet you. And... I have a long history with women and women's issues, but it's wonderful to hear you uh, and hear about a different main men's issue. Well, I want to tell you, many years ago when Sushmita Sen, as, as a, someone in the industry, wanted to be a single mother and adopt a child, she had to fight very hard in court to get permission to adopt a child because they said, your lifestyle, you will not look after the child. Did you not face any such problems? No, there were no problems regarding any kind of notions that people had that will I be able to do a good job or not because I came into this world as a single father with an announcement. So it was not something that I had to get permission for legally. I was doing it all by the rule book. And उसमें ये सब नहीं हुआ। I think we went by the laws, but we were not questioned in that regard whether I would take care of the child or not. But yeah, in in a similar vein, I think the if you look at it invertedly, I get praised a lot for being a good parent, which I think is also a little prejudicial because because I'm a single father, because I'm an actor, and because I'm male, I think they probably people probably think that. I wouldn't be as good a dad or I wouldn't probably know it all or I wouldn't have the know-how. So when they see me involved, they're like, wow, you're doing so much. But I tell them that I'm just doing as, I'm just doing as much as normal parents do. You know, as much as my mother takes the children to the park or play school, as much as I do, I'm doing as much as I do. Because I'm an actor, I'm single. So it feels like you're blowing it out of proportion, that you're doing so much, I mean, I'm doing so much, which are the normal parents. And my challenges are so much, as the normal parents are. Sometimes both mother-in-law work, and they have to make time for their children, and they make time. Sometimes the woman is doing everything, the man is just, he's the bread earner of the family, and she's like a single parent then, right? So, there are no right answers to all of this. But yeah, to answer your question, no, I didn't have that kind of a challenge. Um, I don't know, Dr. Firuza Parikh, I think, probably gets the credit for that. 
she made it very smooth and very seamless also to add to your thing i think whenever wo jo pehla step koi bhi leta hai na usme mushkil aati hai aaj ke daur mein there are so many of my actor friends who have adopted children and it's been easy going for them so just to answer and add add that on yes please hello tushar um this is probably not directed to this audience uh i just would like to ask you for someone who's uh probably in your age bracket i don't know how old you are or when you decided what stage did you decide that okay i'm probably not going to get married and i would like to have a child by surrogacy or adopt um it's it it's interesting for somebody who is probably in your situation um as to when they could take this decision um had you made up your mind you're not going to get married so you might have another baby or what was it that now i've kind of of obviously i am pretty sure that i don't see myself getting married because my focus is on my son and i'm so happy i don't feel lonely i don't feel incomplete of course everybody wants a life partner at some point in their life so that happens well and good but other than that i don't feel any void but as far as before becoming a father when did i decide i somewhere around my mid 30s i realized that if i don't get married which it seems like is going to happen i have plan b and the plan b was this so that that's how clear and sure i was i wasn't 100% sure but i said this is plan b that may single father banunga yeah so i have a question about questions uh, that your son might be putting to you my daughter's adopted and the first years were great the wonder years because my wife was working full time so i got to spend time from changing nappies to everything and hanging out in parks with uh, uh, nannies and and mummies so that was a really nice uh, time as she grew older the questions began uh, one of them was uh, startlingly she asked me one day we always told her she was adopted so she said one day she asked me and all this happened only at night when she was when I was putting her to bed uh so she knows which often she came from everything she said how did you choose and then the question was did you buy me how much did you pay all kinds of things that came up what are the questions that you face surely you face some of these questions from your son yes a uh, once or twice uh, i am being very honest just once or twice uh, he prob- there was another friend whom he plays with a lot he used to play with a lot in the park and that friend i think it's never the child on its own who's going to ask you they are going to be prodded and they're going to be instigated by the peers and so the friend is asking him ki laksh where is your mom bar 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 puchta rehta tha so he used to come back and ask me where is my mom because a friend used to ask him not because he's feeling uncomfortable but just curious there was a curiosity so i would say that i I'd, i'd obviously be very honest with him and i said that i'm your dad and that's it the family is complete bua is like your mom dadi is like your mom but they're not your moms but this is our family and you have me doing playing the role of both the parents so i hope you're happy with that and he was fine so he just wanted clarity i felt because the friend would so uske baad now he talks to me very openly papa you have to come to come to school tomorrow my teacher said because all the mamas are coming he doesn't uh, he doesn't feel awkward saying ki aapko aana hai lekin wahan mummies are he says that uh, or he tells me if he wants to meet his friend for a play date he says that please call atharv's mom you call her mama you call his he doesn't say you call his papa because he doesn't feel ki hum he's not trying to normalize what kind of family we are by referring to others also as as if they also do everything with their dads he's okay that they have their moms doing everything and here it's a dad so i have made that distinction very clear and i have made it very very comfortable for him of course there will be challenges there will be ups and downs but we'll cross those bridges when we come to it and we hopefully will come out stronger yes well sure. thank you for being such an amazing audience as always Can it's I a pleasure another... you have a question a... i'm afraid we've run out of time now um, i really have to thank divya and tushar ye waqt aisa hi hota hai but before i leave i want to just say something for this very dear friend of mine for the decision that he's taken and and we're so very proud of you for that a jazba dil ghar mein chahu har cheez muqabila jaye manzil ke liye to gaam chalu aur samne manzil aa jaye god bless you how sweet
Thank you, Shukriya, for just being Was a lovely audience. Always a fan of yours, and now even bigger fan. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure talking. Thank you. Our next session is going to be online, so we'll take a little while to set it up. As you, you can see from the schedule, this session is about the unchanging eternal and the changing infinite. Author Pavan Varma will be in conversation with Makaran Paranjpe. I think this is our time to ask if at peak Hindutva, we're at the nadir of the Hindu civilization. In the meantime, um, in the amount of time it takes to set up the online session, I would just quickly like to inform you about this very interesting stall at the back. If you've had a chance to go by it, it's called Food Veda. They use food to treat pre and type 2 diabetes. And some people here, present here today, are already taking that diet. And I'm told they're seeing a drop in their sugar levels already. Tomorrow, we might have a workshop again, and anybody can go and register with them. It's basically just a diet, no medicines, I'm, I'm told. You can find them at the back. Also, I encourage all of you to go and check out Niti Kasoli. If you've been by where the 1649 stall is, you'll see there's also a stall by these, uh, this women's self-help group. They're called Niti Kasoli, which has been set up by the daughter of two Air Force officers who, ha who got these women together during the pandemic to get them to knit and do crochet. And they make some pretty beautiful stuff. You really should uh, go check it out. They're right by the stall. Uh, Right, right by where the stalls right. are, the 1469 and the other stalls as well. My check. I think so, yeah. Will you be able to see from there? Yeah.